Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's froggiest music nerd, and it's time for another edition of Let's Argue, where I take on your hot takes, your unpopular opinions, your tough questions, but this is a special themed episode where I asked you guys, in your opinion, what you thought the worst instrument was, and this video <clears throat> is my responses to those responses. Let's go! I was friends with percussionists in music school and they showed me their like $800 brass triangles and made me listen to them until I could hear how much better they sound and now I sort of get it. This is a piece of music I literally heard at a music school concert at one point and it's just like eight minutes of, of this guy playing triangle. I'm not gonna come in here and shit on the triangle. Obviously it, it has like a very limited series of uses, but I don't know. Triangles I think sound pretty cool and when they're used right, it, it, it is just right. There's nothing quite like a perfectly executed and implemented triangle. Uh, but you know, if, if you pay attention to it in that uh, Usher club hit, yeah, with a little John, pretty much ruins the song. <laughs> the slide whistle, the only purpose it serves is to let you know that someone slipped on a banana peel. Yeah, the slide whistle as like an actual musical instrument, I, I haven't heard anyone convincingly play the slide whistle in, in a way that uh, feels entertaining to me. Uh, in, in, you know, guy, or like, you know, emotionally moving in a musical sense. I guess it sounds kind of too goofy to do that. I, I suppose, you know, you could play certain notes sliding it in and out, but I mean, Jesus, kind of seems like a bit of a hassle. You know what I mean? I mean, there, there are other instruments that you could, you know, get a better sound out of than the slide whistle. Oboe, squashed duck, or sandbox, or cone <laughs> played by the wrong musicians or non-musicians obnoxious. Man, Holiday Sidewinder has some strong instrument opinions. I mean, some of these I get because there is like an extreme novelty to them, but like oboe, there's some good oboe out there. Can't hate on the oboe, especially since like, it's it's been used very well in a number of classical and jazz contexts. I, I can't say I really have strong negative feelings toward the oboe. Sure, it's like a peculiar reed, it's a peculiar woodwind, but oboe's pretty solid in my book. Nothing good has ever come from the recorder. It's a starter instrument exclusively made for kids to play badly before they get a real instrument. I mean, that is kind of what we treat it like, but there are quality made recorders out there. And uh, what, what's, what uh, Led Zeppelin song has the recorder on it? John Paul Jones himself plays recorder on Stairway to Heaven. One of the most like praised and widely renowned rock recordings of all time. There's literally recorder on it. But you guys hate the recorder so blindly that uh, you, you fail to even realize this. The apprehension engine is actually a super cool instrument, but it's the worst because it's so criminally underutilized as a sonic device. If you polished up its aesthetics to look like some creepy death guitar and not a three-year-old arts and crafts project, it would be used more? What the hell? Is what is this? It looks like a bunch of rulers and a couple of strings attached to a fax machine. But yeah, I, I guess it's like pretty cool at making scary sounds, um, but, which I mean, sound effects are cool. But part of like, I think the beauty and the functionality of an instrument is uh, the, the ability to, you know, coherently compose on it in an efficient manner. Obviously, there's like a certain level of technical proficiency that comes with, you know, writing or creating anything on an instrument with ease, but can you master this instrument to the point where you could actually compose some compelling pieces of music with it? That could be kind of what's getting in the way of it being a quality instrument, but it is generating some cool sounds here for sure. The novelty of a theremin wears off real fucking quick. Quick. There's some good theremin out there, but would I want to hear a whole album of theremin? An hour of theremin? Probably not. Although, I don't know, there's probably some wild ass theremin player out there who hooks up their theremin to like a million different guitar pedals and does some zany shit with it. <laughs> Maybe at that point it could be interesting. Piccolo, it's ear grating, disgusting, wannabe flute, it has no purpose, destroy it. No, I, I don't hate the piccolo. I, I can't bring myself to hate the piccolo, honestly. Like, sure, are some of the notes in its higher register a little ear piercing? Yes, but I think it's got character. You know, it's it's been a part of some essential classical pieces over the years. I don't hate the piccolo. Pro piccolo. The hurdy-gurdy is a peasant's instrument. <laughs> 
one shouldn't be surprised since it's just a brick with strings attached. This is such a classist take. Royal instrumentation and looking down on the hurdy gurdy. The filthy, disgusting peasants below with their hurdy gurdies. Ah. A bass ukulele. Strings are clunky and ugly sounding. You might as well just get an acoustic. Anything else at that point? Yeah, I mean, I think the acoustic uh, bass ukulele is pretty fucking pointless, honestly. And I'm not, you know, an across the board ukulele hater. I know there's some people out there who want to have nothing to do with it on account of like it, it, in their own lives and contexts. Uh, they mostly see it as a, as a white girl instrument. And, um, you know, to a degree that is the case, but the ukulele does have a rich history outside of that that you should respect and not hate on the ukulele uh, be, because it does have that history. But with that being said, I can't really think of a bass version of an instrument uh, more pointless than the bass ukulele. Uh, especially since, you know, part of the ukulele's appeal is its uniquely plucky, you know, high timbre and pitch and lowering it down to a bass register just doesn't really bring anything to the table. It doesn't sound unique, it doesn't play unique, it doesn't do anything functionally that a normal bass couldn't already. Uh, I'm sure that you could pick up a bass ukulele and play a, you know, a good or a convincing piece on it or a solo or something like that, but like, you know, outside of the novelty of it being a bass ukulele, does it really serve a purpose? Not really. The automa automatone, probably not the worst, but definitely the silliest. Yeah, I've, I've seen these around. Whenever I see them, uh, they're, they're mostly just being played for the meme, um, which, hey, Love a good meme. Kalimba, thumb piano, finger harp, so on and so forth. The, the, it's got the dinkiest sound ever. Blisters on your fingers. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, I do think it has a cool sound, though. It's a cute, plucky, little metallic sound. And I love its uh, use on that uh, uh, subtract record from back in the day. So many tracks with a thumb piano on that one that are very pretty. Uh, I, I mess with the thumb piano. Banging two rocks together because it's banging two rocks together. All right, so as far as I know, this Dying Fetus album right here is rock. And this Melt Banana album over here is also rock. Let's test your theory. Uh, yeah, it's not that great of a sound. I wouldn't say there's a worst instrument, as anyone can master an instrument and create something. However, I feel the human voice is the worst instrument subjectively, as it is the most variable, resulting in the most disappointing performances. I mean, I don't know if you could really make a case for the human voice being the worst instrument, honestly. Even a bad voice can have purpose and functionality to it. You know, for me, like a, a bad instrument would maybe be an instrument that generates horrible sounds, regardless, like across the board, you know, no exceptions. Um, and, and also just has little in terms of like, actual use or application. And um, th you know, th there's just so much functionality to the human voice. There's so much necessity to the human voice. Though I, I do agree, there's nothing quite like a bad vocal performance. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. And look, I think we can leave it there for this video. Thank you for sending in your takes on what you thought was the worst instrument. We got a lot of, a lot of good responses from you guys, but yeah. Catch you guys in the next one. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, music, instruments, worst forever.